All right, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to re-lubricate one of these fans. I had one in my computer against the radiator that was just about seized up, and I realized it's probably about time to go ahead and re-lube all of them. Uh, you're gonna want to just flip it over to the side that has the sticker on it, and take anything, I mean, you can use a fingernail, but whatever, and just kinda gently try and pry up this sticker. It's going to be a little bit harder if you've got a fan that's never had the sticker taken off before. Kind of work around the edge here, just make sure you don't rip it. Okay. Now some of these, actually this is surprising, I don't know why uh, Corsair doesn't have this, but some of them will have a little rubber cap right here, and you can just kind of pry it out, and uh, that's how you get here. What you're going to need is, this is what I use, just some light machine oil. I think I got this for like two bucks in the Walmart uh, sewing section. Um, but you just need some light machine oil, sewing machine oil, something like that. Don't use WD-40. And then you just put a little bit in and work it around. Now this fan actually isn't so bad. Uh, like I said, my other one, it would just stop after one rotation, so it really needed it. But if yours is really bad, um, make sure you work it all in, get it to start going before you plug it back in. Okay. Now this method is really good for like laptop fans uh, that have seemed to have died. You can sometimes bring them back to life like this. Um, and in general, the reason I'm taking this one apart is just general maintenance to keep it lasting a long time. Now if you spill some oil on the edge, like I have here, you kind of see it, what you're going to want to do is... Get a napkin and some rubbing alcohol. Put a little bit on the napkin. And then wipe it off with the rubbing alcohol. And you do this, keep this surface clean so that the sticker will stick back to the surface. So obviously it's not going to stick to oil. Okay. So once it dries, rubbing alcohol takes like 10 seconds to dry. So once it dries, then you can go ahead and recover it. And when you're recovering it, just make sure that you're putting it on there nice and firmly. Because you want to make sure that this oil gets sealed back in there. Okay, and once it's sealed back on, you're good to go. You can go ahead and plug it back in. That's all there is to it.